welcome to episode 124. Tonight we're going to be wrapping up the story and find out how did Ainyo Tsukumi manage to create all of these magnificent dolls that represents the former residents of Nagru Village. Ainyo's development for art came in almost by accident. As birds invaded her garden, she created a kashi or a scarecrow that represents her father and she was so pleased with the results as it scared away the birds out of her garden that she created many more replicas of the former residents using old clothing and, and straws. She has placed hundreds of them all around the hamlet and some on the side of the road to attract visitors. There are fishermen, utility workers hard at work and senior citizens just watching the world go by almost as if she's trying to recreate what life was like in this once thriving village. In an interview in 2014 on a documentary called The Valley of, Lee of the Dolls, Tukasami quoted, I thought people would get interested and take photos if I put it there at the entrance of the valley, Tukasami said, I put them in the field, either working or waiting for the bus. As to whether or not there will be one day a Tukasami doll, the artist laughed as she told documentary Frizz Tsukukamen. She said, I'm not too worried about my mortality. Tukasami said, I'll probably live on forever. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Join me again in episode 125 as we travel back to Czech Republic and explore the Sedlik Ulcery, Czech Republic's most haunted and bone chilling churches. And until next time, stay classy.